Hi, so in this um, series, in this lecture, I'm going to cover more a uh, little bit about the um, RBAC. So RBAC is a great feature that is provided by Kubernetes. Um, and what it does is uh, it has four main, main features, role, uh, role binding, and then cluster role and cluster role binding. So cluster role is basically a role that is applicable to the whole cluster. And then the cluster role binding is an object that binds that particular role to a user or a service account. Similarly, role is same to cluster role, but it is specific to a namespace. So as you can see, right, so if you are creating, um, a, if you need a role that is specific to a namespace, then it, you should use role and role binding. And otherwise, it's a cluster role and cluster role binding. But there are some scenarios where you might use a mix of those, you know, where you need to have a cluster role, which is and a role binding. Something like that will happen if, for example, you want to do certain actions into the cluster as a user or a service account. For example, you want to delete all pods or restart all pods, but not in cube system namespace, right? And not in like um, a default namespace or any other namespace that comes with uh, the Kubernetes um, initial setup. So you want to do it in a user specific namespace. So for that, what you do is, you use the feature. So if you can see, all right, what you are seeing here is that I have two namespaces in the green and I have some pods running in it and there is a namespace three, let's say that's the cube system namespace. But I want to only do some stuff because normally you would like to do maintenance and activities on the user specific namespaces and not on the cube system. So for example, if you're doing some maintenance and you want to delete all pods from both the user namespaces, like if you're redeploying or something, you want to do some cleanup, uh, or you're changing some stuff, right? So then uh, you want to only do specifically to two nam namespaces. So you will clear, create a service account. Uh, you can create in a namespace and you create a new namespace like maintenance or you can do it in default. And then the next step is to create a cluster role. What cluster role will do it, it will, uh, it will say that, okay, this ro role, it will say that on all those resources or all those API groups, what is um, the action is, delete part is uh, you know like list delete watch these are some of the actions so uh, those are the actions that are possible on the object which is a part that is basically defining a role and why do you need a role binding and not cluster role because if you create a cluster role binding in this case then it will be applicable to all the namespaces but you don't want that right you only want to tie up the service account with a partic with particular namespaces it can be one or more so in that case you will create role binding objects the role binding object will, bi will bind your service account, which has that role, and it will be specific to the namespaces. So let me show you what uh, I'm talking about. So let's go to our uh, Kubernetes cluster. We have uh, we are running, uh, you know, the cluster with one master and two workers, and I have all the uh, YAMLs file in my. Uh, uh, they're all in my github account and I put it in the uh, description and the details so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm I'm going to create two, two namespaces I think I already created that now I'm going to create uh, just a pod in one of the namespaces which is namespace one so I have a yaml called m.yaml and it is basically creating this pod in namespace one and if I do get pods in namespace one I might have done that also so my pod is running. Now I want to create the service account. So let me see, uh, I will do apply minus F and I will just grab my YAML, which is right here, which is the service account. So I have the YAMLs I, uh, in my local folder and I'm going to create the service account. So if you want to see, it's uh, on my GitHub page, but basically what it is, the service account YAML, which is going to create uh, in default namespace one. I'm going to apply it to create the service account. And now I'm going to create the cluster role. So if you see what that cluster role does is it's simple. It's just, it's called name delete pod and it's just going to uh, do these verbs of the action on all the pods, right? Because, and I'm going to do apply minus F. So as you can see, I, I did a apply on the cluster role and I created the cluster role name delete pod. Next thing is the role binding. So role bindings are basically, you can create um, in this case, I'm creating two role bindings in the same file, and the role binding are specific to a namespace. So the first one is bound to a namespace ns1, 
and what it's doing is it's creating it is uh, attaching the role degree pod to the service account sa but it's only going to do that action in the namespace one same thing is it's doing the same thing only in namespace two so now if i try to do something in a cube system which i'm in my case is in namespace three i won't be able to do it so if i do apply my f so i'll just show you role binding one more time so basically uh, my both role bindings got created i didn't apply so what it's doing is it is specific to the namespace for that service account in the default namespace is attaching the role to that namespace so now we have done all this right now what's the next step so now what we want to do is uh, we want to test if it works or not so these are the simple commands i put it right let me see if i have access to do this action because i created the names uh, because I I'm, I'm doing, can I get pods? In, in I, The answer should be no. Correct. And now if I want to do the same space in a namespace one, NS1, I should be able to, right? Because that's how I created my, yes. And I should be able to do the same thing in namespace two. And I should also be able to do a delete on the namespace one in the delete pods because I did uh, list, watch, delete yes so so as you can see this controls the uh, access so if you want to now run it somewhere so basically you will have to grab the service the service account has uh cube config so that's another important thing so when because you want to run from outside the cluster using the cube config of the service account so you can uh, extract it and simply do a apply using the cube config so you can give that as a parameter or you can um, simply save it somewhere and then you can mention it but that is a key that you have to switch the cube config so when you create these role bindings and cluster role you have to be an admin but once the service account is created then you can use the, the cube config of that service account and run or run you can create a script and that can delete all the parts and stuff like that but make make sure that you use the right cube config